Hello, welcome to the new rain, Hornby range for 2020. I thought I'd just show you the 10 items that I, that I may or may not buy this year. It would be quite expensive if I did buy all 10 but I'm not sure yet but we'll have to see. But quite a lot of this one if you don't pre-order and when you pre-order stuff it means you have to wait weeks, even months for it so you never know when they could turn up. First thing Oh, is the uh, Century Year Collectible Gold Plated 100 Years Anniversary Badge Only $2.99 well, quite, quite a nice little thing to have I know it's not much but um, just to be something um, I've, I've already got Smokey Joe um, quite a few years ago now and they've only like smartened him up a bit um, so I don't think I'll be buying Smokey J this time because there's not much real difference between Smokey J I've got at the moment and this limited edition of it like I said they've only smartened him up a bit so let's see what else else as well, celebrating 100 years of Hornby train set, Century Year Limited Edition 2020 is the Rovex, it's only 349. The operator is British Railways for Black, the period is era for um, 1948 and 1956. So William Stanier, and service 1933. It has the um, five pole skewer wa wound wand. So that'd be quite interesting to see how that turns out to be. Can really show you what's going to be inside the box. When you get any cab, not really any about cabs or the other track you can see. Also the uh, LNR last one. Hush hush, uh, four six four one thousand British Enterprise era three. Apparently, they only ever made the one one loco of it. It was just more of a experimental type locomotive, and then a few years later, it was, it was turned into a different type of locomotive. So that'd be quite interesting to get. This aero dynamic bit. Reflected on the front as well, so that'd be quite interesting one to get, which is one hundred ninety-nine pounds. I know it's, it's just a pen, but you know, it's got look, look like quite a nice pen to get. The, um, a Hornby pen. It's quite snazzy, quite cool, cool to have. It's got a little, the clicker pen where you can press the end bit. So it's, only, it's only a tenner really. I already have the all like top bit and the bottom bit is all in red but they've done it in green this year they've like, they've, they've reboxed it we've re done it up um, made it look different this time but uh, again I won't be getting because I've already got the flying spot so that GWR engine head looks interesting I'm not quite too sure um, with the doors there do they open do they close and are they permanently closed I don't know Oh, that's another thing that I want, want to get, uh, quite cool to get, it's only £15 or £14.99, it's the Hornby Wagon 2020 Century Year Wagon, um, and it's got the Hornby logo on it, it's got Hornby Railway logo, logo on it, it's got Hornby Duplo on it, who knows what it has on the, on the opposite side, so it'd be quite interesting to get. Might be the same, might be different. There's another thing that I wouldn't mind getting is the uh, L and MR Stevenson Rocket Train Pack Era 1. Bit of it's £179.99. So it'd be pretty cool to get the, the rocket and the Stevenson's rocket, and you get not only do you get three. 
another thing we're quite interested to get is the 2710 MR 1 Century Year Limited Edition 1920. But the trouble is, it doesn't tell you which gauge it's for. Is it double O and, well, it doesn't say what gauge it'd be for. So, if you hit and miss, if you do buy that one, it could be a hit and miss. I suppose anyway, it is quite expensive. 524.99, so it could be for a large gauge. Very just could ring up the form being asked them, they might be able to tell you. Not quite too sure about this one. The Hornby Book of Trains, the Century Edition by Pat Hammond. Um, that could be quite interesting to get. Telling you all about all the different type model trains you can get. I'm not sure about that. I might, I might get that. I don't know. I don't know yet. But that could be a good read, I suppose. Again, I've got the Evening Star, uh, I got quite a few years ago, um, but I don't think I'll be getting that. I don't, I don't need the Evening Star twice. I think they've painted those little tubes there, but you know, they must have done it up, smartly enough a bit, but I don't really need the Evening Star twice. I've only got it once. You can also get some uh, retro wagons. Three prep uh, Crawford biscuit Secotine tanker. I'm not sure I've ever heard of that. And Coleman mustard. I think they still. I think Coleman's mustard still going. I think I'm not sure. I, I think I've seen Crawford biscuits around. I think they're still going. Well, I don't think I'll be getting that though. Even though I've already got the uh, the mallard, which has all been gold plated. Um, you can get the, the Hormid Duplo, double O, should I say, NR for Nigel Grizzly train set, Century Year Limited 1938. Even though it'd be a nice, nice box, I don't think I really need to get the Mallard again. It is 249, that is quite expensive. I do quite like this uh, GWR station building though, at 46.99. I might get that, I don't know, but it might turn out to be quite expensive, yeah. <laughs> now this is quite interesting, the GWR freight train set, under 19.99. Um, it has a crane on it and um, a small carriage on it as well. So why would a, a freight train have a carriage on it as well? Uh, even though I've already got a crane, a bigger crane, and I've also got a tank engine which that's, that really seems to be, but I mean that could be quite fun to get, so I'm, I, may, I'm, I might get that one. Um, here it is, like, so you can actually see um, the crane there, and you can see the carriage there, it's got a nice, it's got a nice quite a nice chain on it there as well, as you can see. There are many small communities that Relied on transport of Algot or Slate and Cold to go from the coast to rural kind of the rural railway of the west coast and Wales were and in live link to the outside world. Quite interesting. Uh, the the sector is an 060 pannier tank over to a section of rolling dock that was typically for the period running the track circuit inside the sector extended to fully complete engaging layout including I don't know about the Hornby Road Show if I can take it. That's pretty cheap. What's interesting about this John Danelli wagon, it's got um, look at the roof of it, it's like a roof like a house. See, see look at this news agents here, see, it's it's like it's pointy and with this wagon here it's also pointy, see what I mean by slopes down to just like this roof of this uh, news agents here. So I wonder if that's where they got the idea. Maybe they don't want it to get all the um, maybe all the rocks inside getting wet. So maybe it's, when it rains it just drips off and protects all the inside really. What's interesting about this uh, tin Tabernacle, if 
that's how you pronounce it. If you go to Derbyshire, go to the Monster Trail, no, Stevenson's Rocket, or, or this, this one, Stevenson's Rocket Train Pack, um, Century Year Limited Edition 963, roughly £10 more than the, the uh, I mean, I think they're both still the same, but one's in more of a nicer box, I think. Here's another uh, retro wagons, three pack, um, United Dairies, Tanker, Jacob Biscuits. Uh, so I think that one, can't quite read, see it. Uh, or and this, Pale Forbes, I'm not too sure what Pale Forbes is. I probably won't get this. Just mention this is a GWR all box era three. Interesting GWR, but it's only says GW on it. And lastly, um, I might get this uh, Hornby 2020 catalogue. The 2020 Hornby catalogue contains everything you need to know for all your model railway needs in 2020. Sorry, the Hornby catalogue is also a collector's piece in its own right for a seasonal model fans and collectors. It's only a tenner. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.